Jen? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And, and with your spirit. O oh God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heaven poured down rain. Alleluia. My dear friends, we continue to continue to celebrate our Easter season, this time of Alleluia's and praise to God and the joy of the resurrection. Uh, we welcome those who are watching at home and joining us in our community for prayer. To better celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. <clears throat> Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Pamphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Pergia and Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Pergia and reached Antioch and Pisidia. 
On the Sabbath they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After, after the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of extortion for the people, please speak. Ex exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors, and exalted the people during the sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm he led them out, and for about forty years he put up with them in the desert. When he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. At the end of about four hundred and fifty years. After these things he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king, of whom he testified. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promises, has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. <clears throat> Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him that my head may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him, and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen. But so that scripture might be fulfilled, the one who ate my food has raised his heel against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever receives the one I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Spend a little time with Acts. Uh, so we're continuing our movement through the Acts of the Apostles. And in this encounter between, really, Paul and, 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 and the, uh, the synagogue there, I mean, I really feel for Paul in a really good way. Um, Paul's just sitting there, and the, the, the synagogue official says, does anybody want to give a speech? And I'm like, that's me. <laughs> Anytime there's a speech to be given, I'm ready to give a speech. And so Paul takes that opportunity. I've been taking that opportunity, too. Um, and it's interesting what Paul does. Um, he's speaking to his Jewish brothers, and says, well, Jewish brothers ultimately there. Um, the, well, the women are probably on the side somewhere if they're attending. And in that moment, what does he do? He recounts their history to them. He just recounts their history. And says, here is our story. Here is our narrative. You know it. And it's not like this story that just has no direction, that's kind of whimsical, that just happened. But there has been a providential force throughout that entire history, that entire narrative, that goes to a certain point. That person is Jesus, um, the culmination of their history. 
and they respond in the ways that they respond. Um, I think in this moment of hearing Paul recount their history, we are invited to recount our own history as well. That we are, we are invited then to look at my story, my narrative, the places where I have been liberated, just like the Egyptians are liberated, the ways that I have been crowned king or been taken away as being king, like Saul, uh, all through the course of the prophets and the, 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 the Torah. And to look at these moments, these instances of these places of encounter, these places of grace, and to recognize that there is a providential force moving all of my story, all of my narrative. This isn't saying that we don't have free will, I'm not saying that at all. But there is a providential force that is leading and guiding me. Uh, we look at the, the, the prophet Jeremiah who says, I have plans to prosper you, I have these plans to, to make you uh, uh, prosperous, to have a fullness of life. And it's, it's a story, it's a narrative that Jesus is whispering into my ear, into our ears, into, into our hearts continually, even right now. I have good plans for you, plans to prosper you. It's in this recounting in this moment, this going back into my life, into my story, and these, 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 these episodes, these experiences of God's grace, that says, yeah, he really does. He really does. It's so easy right now to fall into the temptation of despair, to fall into the temptation that God's not interested, that God is aloof, uh, separated from us. But my own life becomes the evidence. My own life becomes the testimony to me of God's action. I don't have to go look at somebody else's life. I don't have to go look it up in a book, etc. Um, Paul's telling the Jewish people, your story reveals God. My story reveals God to me. Um, and it's a matter of being attuned to that and open to that in that encounter with the person of Jesus. That moment then, that place of encounter with Jesus is now not just a receptive receiver of grace, uh, but I think ultimately the pushing out, the sending forth upon mission. Upon mission. Paul, Barnabas, all these folks in the, in the Acts of the Testament, Acts of the Testament, Acts of the Apostles are currently on mission. They're constantly moving, moving, moving being attuned to the Spirit, being attuned to how God, how Jesus has acted in their life. And it's the same with us. Our attunement to our own story, our attunement to the grace that God has done in our lives, the ways that Jesus has, has, has touched us, is the fuel, the energy to go be on mission in whatever that looks like, however that manifests. Mission is really hard right now because we're stuck and we're, we're stuck in, in a building, we're stuck in, behind screens, we don't have our normal operations. But that doesn't mean that Jesus is, is not still sending us on mission. In fact, the contrary, he still is. My story reveals what that mission looks like. The way God operates in my life is revealing to me how God is calling me, how he wants to prosper me, not after the pandemic, after safe at home, or whatever we're calling it this week, uh, ends, but uh, how he wants to prosper me right now in this very moment. I think that's really good news. Let's stand now and bring our prayers and our petitions before our loving God. Let's pray for the church around the world, uh, that she might be a sign of healing and patience and compassion in this, ter this difficult moment. Uh, for this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all those who are affected by COVID-19. We pray for their quick recovery. We pray for those who care for them. We pray for those who have died of the disease. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an end to the pandemic. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for what else shall we pray for? Today's the anniversary of Marge and Dick Nemechek, um, members of our extended Regis Jesuit community. So for blessings on them and for all couples, um, and especially in this time of higher stress at home, that God will bless those relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the uh, Jesuits who are preparing to be ordained priests and deacons and being sent on mission, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Let's pray for our seniors who have their last day of class uh, tomorrow. Uh, that the Lord may bless them and bless their day. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all the intentions and supplications in our book of intentions and petitions. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we hold silently within our hearts.
For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we are confident that you hear us always because you love us and because we ask in the powerful name of your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that become for us the bread of life. Blessed Bless be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For in your goodness, we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed to be God forever. my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands of the grace and glory of the name for our good and the all of this holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. In Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 <coughs> Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. May glory, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Savior of the world. Provide your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Samuel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
we invite those who are joining us from home to allow this time of quiet and prayer after the after communion to make your own spiritual communion, uh, confirming your faith in Jesus and acknowledging your desire to be one with him. Let us pray. <clears throat> Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. God.